Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to talk about acclimating your beta and this also applies to other fish as well as well as releasing the fish into your tank. So make sure your tank is already cycled or if it's a brand new tank and make sure the temperature is all good uh, make sure your pH is good, make sure all your that stuff is all good. Uh, if you guys don't want to do a complete cycle you can use something like Touch a Safe Start which adds in biological goodness to your tank. Uh, you, you can add in that and then you can add in your fish. Uh, like you're not adding in too many fish at one time. Uh, but once your tank is all set up and ready to go, and you go out and buy your beta or what other fish you're putting in your tank, uh, then you will have to acclimate them. So there are many ways you can do this. Uh, but I'm going to do probably what I'm, I think is the most common way to do it. Um, we're going to be using a beta, of course. So this is my new female beta. She is a crown tail. I uh, know you can't really see her too well. You will see her better in, once I put her, put her into the tank here. So she is, she's the beta I'm going to be putting into this five gallon tank. Uh, and you saw she is in that cup there. So what you can do is you can try and float the cup in your tank for about 15 to 30 minutes or so. What that would do it w is it will get your tank's water and the beta's cup's water temperature to be the same uh, that way you're not when you're putting your beta into the tank you're not shocking them with temperature not give, giving them temperature shock basically so after their temperatures are good and they're matched up uh, next thing you want to do is add in some of the tank's water into the cup or if they're in a bag add them into the bag uh, you can do this every five or so minutes for about again about half an hour what this does is it makes it so the parameters are going to be about the same and again the tank and the cup uh, so you can pH and all that other good stuff uh, so you want to make sure you do that as well because again if you don't and you just add your fish into the tank right away you could also give them uh, pretty much give them pH shock which could kill them uh, and then sending up the temperature, if you were to just dump your fish into the tank without acclimating them at all, it could potentially give them either temperature shock or pH shock or shock in general, uh, which is not a good thing and that could end up killing your beta. Uh, so you want to make sure you acclimate them. Um, so again, just take your, your beta's cup float, or bag and float it in the tank for about 15 to 30 minutes. And after that, slowly add in some water every five or so minutes for about half an hour or so, maybe even a little bit longer if you want. Uh, then you should be good. Um, you want to take it even a step further, you can measure both the tank's water and the cup's water. And then you can also measure the pH and all the parameters in both of them as well. Make sure that they are good. Um, as if you really want to make sure that you are perfect on it. And then adding the beta or other fish into a tank again you can do this different ways uh, also depends on the setup you have so if you have other fish in the tank what you want to do is gently scoop the beta or fish out of the bag or cup and gently again put them into the new tank if this is going to be only their tank what you can do is what I'm going to do here which is, is take her and put her gently into the tank including her water so if you have other fish in the tank, you do not want to do it this way. Reason for that is the the water in the cup can have foreign stuff in it, it's foreign material in it that your other fish that are already in your tank are not used to. Uh, and again, that can cause bad things to happen. It could actually end up killing your fish, uh, your other fish. So, but if you if this is going to be the only fish in here, or if it's the first fish in the tank, you can do it this way as well. Uh, and then this way also makes it so you're not netting the fish at all. So we're gonna do it nice and slow, and she's trying to escape. And she kind of flopped out there. That's not the best example. She wasn't really liking that cup very much, apparently. I mean, who would? All right, so now she's in here. So she's probably gonna be, uh, for lack of better words, a little bit mopey for a little bit. As she gets used to her new tank and her new water and all that good stuff. Uh, she might hide from you for a few days. And, you know, they may or may not eat. Um, I would actually recommend not feeding them for the day that you get them in. 
and wait at least wait a day. Uh, some fish will eat right away, or you know within an hour or two. Uh, but I think just from stress and everything, it's better not to feed them right away. And yeah, so that is basically how you do a beta acclimation and putting them into the new tank. And see, she's chasing after stuff that's not actually food. So that is a good sign. Uh, so then over the next couple days too, you want to want to watch your new fish. Uh, especially if they are in with other fish. Make sure no one's picking on each other. Uh, make sure that they're not just laying on the bottom of the tank looking like they're going to die. Or hovering up at the top of the tank. Uh, basically panting for air, so to speak. Uh, so, you know, keep an eye on them for a few days. Just to make sure that they're doing okay. And she has disappeared into the uh, into the plants. So, yeah, thank you guys, as always, for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.